Unlike other democracies around the world, where people can vote for political parties representing many different interests, the United States is essentially a two-party system, with the Democratic Party and Republican Party dominating most elections. The first two political parties emerged during the Constitutional Convention of 1787. The Federalists wanted national government to have more power over the country as a whole. The Anti-Federalists wanted to limit the power of national government and give more power to the states. Ultimately, the Federalists won out and dominated the scene until 1800, when the newly formed Democratic Republican Party won the presidency, led by founding father Thomas Jefferson. But it was short-lived, splitting in two during the presidential election of 1824. One faction evolved into the next major party, the Democratic Party, which took control of the country in 1829, led by Andrew Jackson. Then from 1830 to 1850, a flurry of new political parties emerged, like the intriguingly named Know Nothing Party. But none of them stuck around very long either. It wasn't until 1854 that the Democrats faced serious opposition when the Republican Party was founded to combat the expansion of slavery. Its leader, Abraham Lincoln, won the presidency in 1860, causing the secession of several states and triggering the Civil War. The Democratic and Republican parties have been the dominant forces in U.S. politics ever since. They're often called the right and the left because of where they sit in Congress. So, why does it matter? While the two-party system has been the norm for more than a century, many feel that the diversity of modern American society is not represented and change is needed. Do you agree or disagree with America's commitment to a two-party system? 